Oh, hey there, YouTubers. Muskrat Jim here. Just heading out for a morning hike out towards the lake. See the leaves are starting to turn. We haven't had any frost yet, but the nights have been getting cooler. A couple of bumblebees loading up on pollen. Okay, so we're over by the lake. You know, uh, this lake is kind of a bog, so the shoreline is all soft and stuff. And so, when people come through here with four-wheelers, they uh, kind of make a mess like this. Kind of chews up the ground real bad in certain spots. Anyway, the good thing about having these soft, muddy areas is that they can really pick up animal tracks and they hold them so then uh, you can examine them later. So let's take a peek at what we've got here. Okay, so the first thing I noticed are these bear prints right here. There's the toe of my boot and there's the print and you can see the toes. Let me just zoom in there a little bit. So you can see the pad of the foot there, and then the toe imprint right there. And then there's one there that's not very well defined. And then you have another one there, where you really can see the, the claw marks. And a bit of a pad there. And then of course it walked in that direction. And you can see them there as well. Yeah, if you look carefully, you can see even smaller prints. Uh, let's see, right at the end of that stick. Okay, right there, that's a smaller print. So there's a bear print there. So this is a smaller animal, and it's either a beaver or a raccoon. I'm not sure, but we have both of them here. And the other one is next to that twig, so right there. He's got kind of a long heel. And it's a, a smaller track, like it's not. See, there's my fingers. So there's a smaller track there. Not like this bear. There's a bear track there. Okay, so because I don't really want to step into that really soft stuff, I'm going to have to keep to the edge. Looks like there's human footprints here, there, and there. They probably got bogged down in that mess. What else do we have here? Another bear track right there. Here's some well-defined toes. That would be two footprints side by side.
Another human footprint. Bigger than mine though. Let me just put my foot right in that footprint. Looks like they had fire here, of course. Left trash as usual. Trash in the woods really bugs me. No respect at all for nature. Okay, so here we have some small hoof prints. So those are deer, because they're the only smaller hoofed animals we have around here. And then over here you can see all these little toe prints. It's kind of hard to tell because the prints are on top of each other and they're kind of mashed around and stuff. See that little tiny toe prints there? Another place that's all muddied up. There's some good toe prints. Right there. It's a bear. And there's the pad. Yeah, that's a good one. And over here as well. I don't know if it's going to pick up on the camera or not. Not quite as defined. But you can see the toe prints. Or I can see the toe prints quite well from here. So walk back and forth. Oh yeah, here's another really good one. Right there. stepped right on this piece of mud. So there's the pad, and there's the three of the four toes. Getting closer. Some really good prints. Well, here we are at the lake. Oh, a couple of ducks. Three ducks. There's a lot of bull lilies here. Let's see if I can zoom in on those ducks. Tell what kind of ducks they are. Just that they aren't mallards, whatever they are. Another one over there. Now the Beaver Lodge is right on the shoreline. Beavers will often swim out in that little area. And all of this is all marshy. Like I said, it's a bog lake, so everything's soft around the edges. Okay, so I'm going to try to find a dry spot to sit down. And we'll make some coffee. Thank you.
For more muskrat survival videos, be sure to like, comment, share, and subscribe.